Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about the main difference between the symmetric and asymmetric multiprocessing. So under the computer system architecture, how the computer uh, will be uh, gradually divided into two major types. So one is single processor system and another one is multiprocessor system. So if you go and work with a single processor system, so it will be consisting of only one processor and uh, obviously so one or more user can be connected through some network uh, networking lines right so here in case of multi-processing system so there will be more number of cpu that is more number of processor will be connected but the operating system as well as the memory uh, that is the storage structure can be shared by all the number of processor so that is what multi-processor system so under the multi-processor system we discussed what are all the two major types of multi-processor and what are all its main advantages so everything we discussed so two major types are asymmetric and the symmetric multi-processor so asymmetric means uh, there will be a boss worker relationship or it is also named as master slave relationship which means one processor can be act as a, uh, a master and other all other remaining processor will be act as a slave so which means the master processor will allocate or it will assign task to each and every processor and whichever the task it is received so it has to work on it so that is what the slave processor will do so this is what the relationship will be carried over in case of asymmetric multiprocessing when we are going with the symmetric multiprocessing so there will not be any relationship between the processor each and every processor will be assigned some specific task and all the processor will work on it so that is what symmetric multiprocessing so what is the major difference between these two the first one is in case of symmetric multiprocessing so there will be a shared common os as well as the memory but in case of asymmetric so it is following some kind of relationship such as master slave relationship or it is also said to be boss worker relationship so in case of symmetric all processes are treated equally so all the processor whatever we have so all the processor will be treated equally so this is what the representation of symmetric multiprocessing but in case of asymmetric they are not treated equally because we have some specific relationship between the processor they are not treated equally right so next one is it will take the process from the ready process ready queue so which means where it is getting the task or where, or where it is getting the process in order to execute it so it will take uh, everything from the ready queue so each and every processor will maintain their own separate ready queue but in case of asymmetric it is not like that because one of the processor will be termed as a master processor and it will be assigned all the um, uh, work or the process that other processor must do so this is what asymmetric in case of symmetric uh, again the communication will be uh, based on the shared memory so how we are uh, uh, providing the sharing concept in between all the processes so the in that way it will communicate with other processor but in case of asymmetric the communication will be uh, with the master processor the all other processor will communicate only with the master because from that processor it is uh, getting the process to be executed so it will not communicate with any other process so that is one of the main difference between symmetric and asymmetric so in case of symmetric it will follow the same architecture but in case of asymmetric it is not like that each and every processor will may have some different architecture so in case of symmetric uh, uh, multiprocessing it is not easy to design or it is not easy to handle but in case of asymmetric it is somewhat easier to design because there will be one processor who monitors all the remaining processor always so it is somewhat easier to handle and this asymmetric is somewhat cheaper and the symmetric multiprocessing is costlier so these are all some of the difference between the symmetric and asymmetric multiprocessing which i would like to explain you okay and the next one what is the next topic under this multiprocessing 
uh, if you want to add more number of cpus again so if you want to add more number of cpu so already you are working with more than one or uh, um, three or more uh, three or four processor okay so if you are working with that kind of multi processing environment and if you want to add some more processor with that uh, same working environment so what happens there it will increase somewhat the complication so what are all the complication you may face suppose uh, if it uh, it will change the uh, how, uh, accessing of memory so how we are accessing the memory it will change literally from uniform memory access to non uniform memory access what do you mean by uniform memory access which means any cpu can access any ram that is what uniform memory access though we have more than one processor right so any cpu can access any ram right so we will be sharing one part of the memory as a uh, treated as a common memory and we will be having our own set of memory also some registers or some cache memory so we will be having for each and every processor separately even though if you have some separately uh, i mean um, private memory so you can also have some common memory to be shared by all the processor so any processor can access any ram but in case of non uniform memory access some part of the memory if uh, if you want to access it takes longer time so that is what non uniform memory access some part of the memory can be accessed within a short span of time but some part of the memory it will take longer access time so what happens here uh it will create the performance issue so it will create the performance penalty because some of the data we can access it easily but some other remaining data we cannot access because it is taking much more time so this performance issue will be solved by the operating system and though we are sharing the operating system also so this will be solved uh, only with the help of the operating system so it will not raise to any performance issues in that way it has to manage the memory or whatever the resources that can be shared by all the processor so this is what the uh, one thing which we want to know about this multi processing and one more concept is multi core so in addition to multi processing we also have the concept of multi core so what do you mean by multi core which means if you are using the same chip so there will be only one chip and in that chip more than one processor or the uh, core processor will be enabled in that same chip so that is what multi core so if you have uh, more than one processor has been embedded in the same chip that is what multi core so nowadays we are using in a single chip we can uh, use up to eight number of processor or eight number of cpus like that we can able to embed in the same chip so that is what multi core so uh, uh, there is one quote saying that uh, all the multi core we can call it as a multi processor but all not all the pr multi processor are said to be multi core okay i repeat this uh, multi core can uh, we can be uh, named as a multi processor but not all multi processor are said to be multi core which means in some of the multi processor systems we can say uh, there will be different chips that were available in each and every chip we will be having some separate processor but if you go uh, with this multi core environment Uh, we will be using only one chip and in that same chip we will be having more than number of uh, more number of processor that is what multi core okay so here this will be a representation of dual core uh, uh, processor so here dual core system so here uh, again we will be having one processor core 0 and this one is core 1 and here uh, we have some uh, private or their own set of registers and cache memory in addition to that they also have this common memory and that can be shared by each and every core that were available so this is what multi core this is what multi core environment and we have used the dual core here so which means two uh, processor that has been embedded in the same chip so that is what multi core okay 
um so in this multi core uh, what could be the difference between the multi core and the multi processor uh, which means the same chip whatever we are using in order to um, show the two or more processor but if you use the different chip in order to a different chip in order to uh, use more than one processor okay it is not the difference between multi core and multi processor because is multi core we can also call it as multi processor so what i am trying to say the difference between the same chip that we are using to embed more than one processor that is what multi core and there will be some other multi processor system that is using a different chip for uh, using a different processor so that is what the, i am telling here so single core chip and another one is uh, multi core chip so which means uh, in case of single core chip so communication will be somewhat slower because it has to communicate in between the chip but in case of multi core chip that is uh, more number of uh, processor has been embedded in the same chip so which means you want uh, communication will be uh, faster here because in uh, it will be communicated on chip onwards so we are not going to communicate with any other chip so communication will be fast so time whatever the time it is taking to communication it is somewhat slower i mean which is very lower but here the communication it takes more time so that is what the main difference it is this multi core is somewhat better than the single core chip um because um, uh, somewhat it is cheaper than the single core chip so each and everything we have to uh, make it as separately in case of single core chip but it is not in the case of multi core so this is what the difference between these two okay and when you are working with the multi core the operating system will be a more challenging task in order to uh, uh, work with the uh, multi core environment rather than the single core uh, chip environment so this is what the uh, thing we have discussed under the multi processor system okay thank you